Hello guys, welcome back to the channel Backbenches Classroom. Guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a social media banner design for schools and other institutions. Guys, please do subscribe to the channel and to find us, use this hashtag on the internet. As well as, you can visit our website www.bbctechonline.com. So guys, first we have to open the Photoshop and then click this create new button to create a new page. Okay, now go to the art and illustration option. From here, I'm going to select this predefined page which has a resolution of 1000 by 1000 pixel. Okay, and then click on create button to create a blank page. Okay, now unlock this background page by clicking this lock button okay so guys now we can start our designing so let's set the background color first for that you have to click this option and then click on solid color okay from here we can set any color guys here i will use blue color whose color code is 464 dca which is a actually blue color okay and then click on ok to apply the color now let's create a new layer where we will design the pattern now guys go to the draw tool and find for the triangular shape if the triangular shape not available in this list we will use paint tool to design before that insert the guideline to the middle now create the triangle shape like this by using the paint tool okay now the shape path is created now let's remove the guideline first and then right click on it and click the fill path option and from here i will choose this white color opacity will be 100 and then click ok to apply now guys again right click on it to delete the path our triangle shape is ready now we will use it to make the pattern design so let's duplicate it by right click on the layer or simply press ctrl plus j on your keyboard now guys select the layer object by pressing ctrl plus t button and then move it a bit and make a chariot wheel by using many triangle shapes one by one guys duplicate the shape each time and position it exactly like this how i am doing if you don't understand it, please watch the video very carefully So guys our pattern shape is ready now let's select all the shapes and make them group by right click on the selected layers and click on group layer option or simply press the ctrl plus g on your keyboard and i'm going to rename it as effect shadow and let's rename it as background color now guys let's select the pattern group and press the ctrl plus t button to select the objects and move it towards the upside little bit now reduce its opacity value to around 20 to 25 percent now guys create a new layer and here i will design a new shape so that i am going to take this pen tool and draw the shape as how i am drawing here by using the pen tool create a curve shape and then cover the bottom area like this now guys right click inside the border area and click on this fill path option and then click on contents drop down and select color option here i'm going to set this yellow color and the color code is written here now click on ok button and then ok again to set the color now right click inside the border and click on delete path to delete the border now guys duplicate the layer by using ctrl plus j button now guys let's color this duplicate layer by using certain feature from blending option function but guys here we can also use adjustment layers to color this one now set the color and click on ok button to apply now click ok again now guys select this layer object by pressing ctrl plus j button on your keyboard and just do as i am doing here to make a new shape like this way okay now guys select both the layer and make a group and i'm going to name it as bottom shape 
Now guys, let's add some shadows on both of the layers, one by one. Okay. Click on layer style option and then click this drop shadow option. By using these bars, we can create a new shadow. Follow the steps how I am applying the shadow here and then click OK to apply. Similarly, add the shadow on this layer too. Now guys, let's insert the image. I have downloaded these images from the internet. So let's insert this image. Now let's flip this image horizontally. Now reduce the image and place it over here like this and I'm gonna place this image between the two layers. Now drag the image layer and place it between the these two layers. Now guys we have to apply some shadow on this image. Before that rasterize the layer. Now click on layer style and open the drop shadow window. Now by adjusting the shadow bars you can add or create the shadow here. As you can see it looks awkward due to deep shadow here. So I'm gonna erase only this front side shadow. So right click on this corner and click on create layer option to demerge the shadow from the image. Now insert the layer mask and mask this side only by using the brush tool. But remember to select black color on your color palette if it's not selected already. It's looking good now. I think it would be better to move it slightly to the left. So select the both image and shadow layer, press Ctrl plus T button to the select the object and move towards left slightly. So guys, our base design is ready. Now we have to add text and logo. Before that, let's group all the layers and name it as base template. And as we don't need this bottom layer, so I'm gonna delete it. Let's create a new layer for the text. But before adding text, we will use border guide and inside this guide, we will write our text. So go to view menu and click new guide layout option and tick this column and add margin value to 0.2 inches for all the sides and then click OK to apply. Now guys, select the type tool from the toolbar and then drag your cursor on the area where you wanna add text. Inside this text box, you can write any text. After writing the text, open the character tool and from here you can manage or modify font type, style, color and more. And guys, I will use a font called Acumen Variable Concept Black for this text and let's change the font style type as semi condensed black guys here i'm going to set its font size around 30 point and i'll set its height to the 100 percent and other setting will remain the same now let's change the font color to the white select the text and then change the color then click ok to apply now duplicate this text by pressing alter button and drag through the mouse using the text tool change its text and then open character toolbar guys for this text font will remain the same but the font style i'm gonna give as white black italic for this text i'm going to set its font size around 18 point now set its color to yellow which i used earlier to make the shape using the color eyedropper take the sample of the yellow color and then click on ok to apply after that make a duplicate again of this text box now replace the text using the text tool and then change the font type again with white blade italic change the text white to minus 60 and change the font size around 26 point and everything will remain the same okay now copy the yellow text box and then replace its text again before that let's resize its font size to 9 point now let's remove and write the new text now guys partially select the text and change its color to the white and then click ok to apply okay guys now again select the text tool and then create a new text box over here like this and write a new text after writing select the text and change its color to the black and change its font to the arial regular and then change the font size 
around 10 point okay and other setting will remain the same guys here i'm going to place this text layer below the all the text layers and bottom of this text layer i'm going to create a blank layer to create a rectangle shape so go to the shape toolbar and select a rectangle shape and draw it over here like this and change its color to the yellow oops i mistakenly changed the color used for the text so here is the color for the shape i'm going to change it from here as you can see the color successfully got changed and if stroke line is already applied then remove it now guys create another blank layer okay and then select the line tool and draw it over here like this and then you have to change its color to the white okay and after that you have to change its height to the 5 pixel and even you have to change the fill color to the white that's it let's adjust the text position properly now guys select enroll now layer and its rectangle box layer and make them group and name it as enroll box let's change this layer name to okay guys now select all the text layers except enroll box and make them group too guys here i'm gonna name this group as top text now guys i'm going to apply shadow effect to this group so open this shadow option and adjust the shadow bars and then click ok to apply now guys let's insert the logo which i have already downloaded from the internet there it is so drag into this page and then reduce its size and place it over here like this now guys here i have to change this logo color to the white so click this adjustment layer option and then open the exposure and increase the exposure to make it white and then and then create a clipping mask of this layer as you can see the color has been changed here now select both of them and create a group and name it as logo now guys let's add the bottom text select the text toolbar and drag it into the page and then write the text over here now go to the character toolbar choose the font here i'm going to use berlin sans epidemi bold now change its font size to around 8 point okay and select the last part of the word and change its color to the white now guys place this text properly and then make its duplicate okay and then again select the text tool and change its text to the phone number and then change its color to the white and then click ok to apply here everything will be remain the same but the font size will be around 13 point now adjust its position properly and make its duplicate again after the duplicate select the text tool again and change its text guys here we have to reduce the line gap so that all the text will appear as you can see text are appeared here now partially select the text and change its font size to around 11.5 point and this part will be around 17.5 point again select this part and change its color to the yellow and then click ok to apply now properly place the text box now guys select all the bottom text and make them group and name it as bottom text now guys let's apply the shadow to this text group okay click here to open the shadow layer now adjust the shadow bars and then click ok button to apply guys take a text toolbar and draw it outside of this guideline and then write your website okay then change its color to the white change its font to the arial regular okay and then zero the text white value now move it toward right side 
and place it properly. So guys, our design is completely ready. Now remove the guidelines. That's it. If you like the video, please do subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon. Thank you for watching.